in honor of my best friend who lives in England. We've known each other 15 years now. This is the real English Hunter's Chicken. Pay attention. This is Remy Meggs. And this is Fast and Easy's Hunter's, Hunter's Chicken from the United Kingdom. And listen to this music, too. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, that's real English music. That's, a, that's an English drum there. You can tell because it doesn't sound like an American drum, right? All right. Now, the first thing you do with this is you uh, cut up your uh, cheese into one quarter inch slices. Enough for four pieces. So you're going to have... We didn't use a whole brick. That was our mistake. We should have used a whole brick of cheese and cut it up in the quarter inch. And those are like a sixteenth of an inch wide. Okay, now the second thing we did wrong is we cut it, the chicken open correctly, as you see. But when we put the cheese in it, we didn't put the cheese in from end to end, from side to side. So we lacked on the cheese part of it. So make sure you do that. Put the cheese in from end to end and from the far side to the front side. Now, I don't eat pork, so I didn't put bacon on this, but the original calls for bacon. It also calls for white cheddar cheese, which we couldn't find in the store, so we used Monterey Jack because we couldn't even find any uh, cheeses that I like. So we use Monterey Jack, but it calls for white cheddar cheese. Anyway, so after you put the cheese in, then you're going to wrap your bacon on it. Bacon around the chicken. I guess that holds in the cheese. No, it don't. But anyway, it makes it look good. And if you like bacon, I guess it makes it taste good. So after you put the bacon around it, then you're going to put the barbecue sauce on it. Now, you can make your own barbecue sauce or you can buy it pre-made to the flavor you want. Uh, we just use pre-made barbecue sauce, as you'll see here in a minute. But it still turns out great. It turns out healthier if you make it yourself. Now, the thing about barbecue sauce and pork. You see, barbecue sauce and pork, well, the barbecue sauce anyway, came from Africa. This is what the natives used when they cooked humans. So when you have barbecue sauce, you're using the same thing that they used over in Africa on humans. And if you're putting it on pork, the cannibals say that pork is sweet, just like humans. Uh-huh. So what does that tell you? Barbecue sauce on pork is like putting barbecue sauce on humans. I hope I didn't give you any ideas because it's still illegal in the United States to eat somebody else. Especially if you killed them first. But anyway, what I think is hard is that most uh, recipes in the UK, I can't stand. Really. I mean, they have things like pie. Except it's not sweet pie. It's like a pot pie with potatoes for a topping on it. I mean, that's how the Germans eat. They throw everything together and they call it a pie. Or they call it, I don't know what they call it really. I, it just boggles my mind. My great-grandfather on my mother's side is German and he ate like that and he'd put everything on his plate and mix it all together and I would just gag. But he says, and he would say to me, well, what's it matter? It all ends up in your stomach the same way. So... To each his own, I guess. But I like to eat like a human being. Not be the human being being eaten. Anyway, so as you see, Alice, uh, my chef robot Alice, is putting on the barbecue sauce. And she's about ready to run out, so she's got to get another bottle of it. And there's a new bottle. Wow, isn't she good? That was fast, wasn't it? Now, the thing about this barbecue sauce is that... Uh, chicken that doesn't have the uh, skin on it doesn't take the barbecue sauce too well. I guess that's why they want to wrap the bacon around it. So what you have to do is you have to baste it twice. Now we baste it on both sides of the chicken. Then we'll cook it for 10 minutes in the oven. Baste it again. 
and you'll see the results here in a minute. And uh, so it's been basted twice on both sides and it comes out really nice looking and it tastes great. Now, like I said, we should have put more cheese in this and done it right. But here's the finished product. And you will see her cut it open right here. And I have no idea what that paper is doing there on the table. There's not supposed to be anything there. But I hope you enjoy the video. Now you know how to cook English Hunter's Chicken. This is Remy Meggs. The recipe is right here at the end of the video. Please like, subscribe, and share, and make a comment on this video. How would you change it to fit your household? What would you do different? What kind of cheese would you use? What would you do to make this better? Anyway, again, this is Remy Meggs. I hope you have a good life. And here comes the recipe.